Morning. How's it going? Uh, Rick T Outdoor Adventure. And Billy, he's down there somewhere. How are we doing? All right. So, uh, we're off today to do a bit of catch and cook. Uh, I've actually brought the fly rod today for a change. Probably been fishing all my life within reason, but uh, I'm not a professional fisherman by any chance. But uh, I've done it all my life. So I know how to catch fish. So we're going to catch some trout and uh, oh, we're going to cook some scran up. Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Stick with us. See you in a bit. Made it down to the lake, so it's not looking bad at the minute. Uh, not a massive amount of fish rising, so I'm gonna go a bit deeper to start. I'm gonna uh, I'll set up on a floating line. So, this is my old die hour rod. I've had this for about 25 years, great bit of kit. So, I'll set up on a floating line and uh, instead of dry fly or buzzer, I'm gonna start off with one of these. So I better let you know I'm not poaching. I've got a permit to fish. Uh, unlike that little kingfisher. <laughs> He's the only little poacher around here. Along with the otters and the herons and the cormorants. <laughs> we'll let him off, eh? Yeah, he's got the rights, Annie. He? He's got the rights to fish wherever he wants. But yeah, we've got a permit, so we're allowed. We're allowed to catch a fish for a bit of scran.
knows many, many ways to uh, cook fish on a fire. Plenty of ways without any pots and pans. But today we're going to use probably one of the most simple ways that you could ever do it. Yeah. So the fish has just been gutted. Yeah. It's not been filleted. It's not been descaled or anything else. It's just simply gutted straight out of the lake. Gutted. No, no descaling or anything. What we need now is we need a good bed of coals. Yeah. So I've chopped all this wood. now a bit matter of building a decent bed of coals yeah so I'm gonna get a brew on as well while I'm here and while we wait for these coals to build up I hope you like the shots of the kingfisher. <laughs> what a great uh, shot on sign, wasn't it? Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. But uh, I don't think kingfishers will be catching fish that big, do you? <laughs> no chance. Maybe a big fat cormorant. Or even uh, even better, a grizzly bear. <laughs> oh, Billy. Billy would have a do, wouldn't you, Billy? Billy's going to join me eating his fish anyway. He'll love it, won't you? Hey, lab, won't you? Oh, he loves a bit of fish, does Billy. Good night. Beautiful slimy fish is going on. I'm going to build up all my coals around him. Woo! Hot! got enough coals, cover him up with him. If you haven't, just turn him over. Give him a few minutes and turn him over. Always reminds me of using a Dutch oven, putting your coals on top. These are really easy to make, just out of a bit of hazel. Now that is looking pretty damn perfect to me. Skin's nice and crispy. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at the meat on that. So 
superb. Absolutely superb. Oh man. That is gorgeous. Get this Billy. Hey. Got some? Got some? What's this? What's that? Nice that. Is it good? Good boy. Beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, Billy, not some. Some. What's this? Thanks for joining me and Billy. Just a quick one on uh, a dead easy way to cook a trout or any sort of fish. Just so easy, so quick, so and absolutely delicious as well. I mean, you could easy pack the inside of it with some uh, some wild greens and what have you. There's all sorts about this time of year, so you could easy pack the inside with some some stuff and some even sprinkle some berries on it as well and etc. But even without anything. Without any salt, without any pepper, without any lemon or any anything, it's lovely. And if you if you're careful and you just cook it right, don't leave it on too long. It's a fine line with fish, but uh, absolutely beautiful. In fact, this is one of the tastiest trout I've cooked for a long time. It's absolutely stunning. Yeah. Proper nice dinner. Billy loves it, don't you? Yeah. If you pull the meat off, sliding with the bones, it generally pulls it away from the bones. So you get these beautiful flakes without any bones inside them. Spot on. Gorgeous. Yo, Billy. Good lab. Yo Billy, my piece. Good lad. Good lad, see good that, yeah. Good boy. Slide it away. It leaves the bones here. There's lots of different ways. my coffee up again. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Uh, Big T Outdoor Adventure and little Billy, always out together. And uh, yeah, it's been a good day. Bit of catch and cook. Beautiful uh, bit of trout on the fire. Dead simple way of doing it. So if you've never done it, have a go at it. But uh, anyway, look after yourselves and uh, all the best. And uh, we'll see you again real soon. All right, see you later. Zera.